The Ask with Kenner Global Languages and Cultures Room is a relatively new addition to Carnegie Mellon. We wanted to see whether we could bring immersive technologies to CMU and use these technologies to learn about language and learn about culture. When the coronavirus pandemic broke out, a lot of classes transitioned to remote education. You might think that with something as technologically sophisticated as VR, that that was complicated, but most of your tools are actually really accessible now. I think just like everybody, when the move to remote learning, we had a real challenge on our hands. So moving online, yeah, definitely presented us with some, some problems, but there are lots of things that we could do uh, and lots of, lots of things that we could leverage. Uh, that meant that we actually were able to continue just as planned. VR, virtual reality, has become a lot more accessible as a technology in the last few years. What are your thoughts on virtual reality as a storytelling tool? Where we're really interested in working is trying to find ways not just to talk about the technology itself. What we're interested in doing is using it in a way um, that uh, students can tell stories about who they are, that their cultural heritage and their background, stories about language use. For instance, a lot of my students are bilingual or multilingual users. And, and so we're using it as a sort of way to, to hold all of those ideas together. Some stories are like can just be enhanced by technology. In that case, technology is just a medium for it. This technology allows you to tell the story. It's like enabling it rather than just a medium because otherwise it wouldn't be possible to do it and make it so immersive and like so detailed. Professor Casper really opened my eyes to the potential of it being used as a storytelling medium, um, especially in uh, documentaries because you really, it really feels like you're on the ground with these people. It makes you kind of feel like you want to solve whatever problems uh, people are going through. It makes you uh, feel empathy for whatever subject matter is being uh, shown to you. So do you think VR has potential as a, as a remote learning tool? Yeah, I really do. There were lots of things that the students reflected on. They liked this idea of being present uh, with other people, even if it was within a virtual space. So what were some of the things that you really liked about being in a VR class space? So for classes that are discussion-based, I think it's better in VR, since you can kind of see people's gestures, like you can see their face, and then you can also see like their mouth moving when they talk. You can see like where their hands are. And I think when you talk in Zoom, you miss a lot of the opportunity to like move around. And I hope that more classes that are discussion-based could maybe find a way to integrate VR or a more immersive teaching method. I kind of love how storytelling at its core hasn't changed, but the tools available to us have and evolved. You know, it started with just verbal talking to each other, evolved to writing, evolved to photography, then, then moving pictures. And, you know, now you can really just sit down in a world that's completely immersive. I, I really am excited to see what comes next. Yeah, I think that we find that really exciting. We teach the basics of storytelling. We, we talk about story archetypes, we talk about uh, audiences, we talk about how you might create a narrative. But if you're doing it in an immersive space, suddenly there are these new things, these new experiences, these new emotions that you can tap into. And in the end, it's there to make them better storytellers.